On to the feature race then on Sunday, race number six. It's the Chinese Recreation Club Challenge Cup. It's a class four contest over the 1600 metres, headed by Sichuan Boss, who was uh, fourth at Happy Valley in his last start behind Right Honourable. Enormous honour ran in that race, finished last. Pakistan Friend gets up to the 1600 metres for the first time. Win Win Ruby drops into class four for the first time. Bring it on behind Elusive States uh, last time out. That was course and distance. Righteous Mate, zero from 11. Barrier four for him. He could be prominent uh, in the run. And Smart Baby and Master. Bernini, not far from a class drop of drawn three and six respectively. Now we've made our way to the touch screen to have a look at the uh, the speed map for this. Brett's uh, indicators possibly being slow, so an opportunity maybe for some tactics to come into play. Master Bernini maybe in front. Well, maybe. I think Sichuan Boss coming back to Sha Tin, drawn ten, ten pound claimer aboard will be rolling forward. There's a uh, a long run down that back stretch when they start at 1600 metres, so. He and Master Benini could be the two. Righteous Mate will be probably looking to try and kick up. Can Pakistan Friend get a little bit more prominent in uh, the field, stepping up to the mile? I think the answer is probably yes. In the olden days, old Win Win Ruby would be a horse mm. that would kick through from a low gate, probably lead initially and then maybe hand up. Uh, but his form has been sour for, for quite some time, so maybe Paul can uh, give us a little bit of a, a leading light to whether... He's getting better. Yeah, it drops into this class for the first time, so that could uh, play its part. What have you got for us, though, Paul? And you can see Hayrun here moving nicely enough down the back straight, keen to go a little bit faster, if anything. Uh, he looked uh, very keen. And, uh, like he's still a maiden from maiden start, so he has got his tricks. Really like this piece from Gorgeous again. He comes back through the inside of Clement Legend. I'll give him a bit of a chance earlier on. And he's dropped 17 pounds from his de uh, seasonal debut. He's going well, so... Um, he might be a little bit of a roughie in this. And Righteous Mate, another one that's uh, going really nicely, just working with a partner horse. Righteous Mate is the one uh, closest to us, that one, 419. And he's going well, and he seems to be over his lameness problems. Yeah, I give him a little bit of a chance, actually. I think mm. the trial was too bad from, uh, from Righteous Mate. Uh, we're going to start off, though, with uh, Sichuan Boss. We're at Happy Valley for this one. Enormous honour drops out um, here, but uh, solid effort from the boss. It was. Um, I thought he would have won more than a race by now, so not surprised to see Chaney Millard change the tactics around here and take him away from Happy Valley, where he's now had 15 starts, bring him back to Sha Tin, did the majority of his racing last season at the Valley. Sha Tin might be better for him. We looked at the speed map. I think he will roll forward with a £10 claimer, get somewhere near the lead, and he's clearly got the uh, capabilities of performing well in this. Yeah, when he did win his race at Happy Valley, though, I mean, he, he did come from the back, didn't he? Came wide and down the outside. Maybe so that might be the key. Yeah, it could well be. Right, yeah. impatient again. Maybe a bit patient, but, yeah, he's only he's had a third at Sharton so far. That's that's his best. All right, so he's a shout. Uh, favourite at the moment, though, is Pakistan Friend. He's a short price favourite as well. Let's uh, hear from his jockey, Karis Teton. Pakistan Friend, Karis, is he now looking for the mile? Yes, uh, 100%. Uh, Really nice type of horse, but just uh, hasn't uh, matured uh, properly yet. But uh, definitely crying for, for the mile at the moment. Is he a horse that's getting better, though, if, even though he's not quite matured just yet? Yes, uh, the, well, the last few times I've been riding him, he, he feels like he's, of course, mentally uh, been getting better. Of course, he, he used to have that... Uh, uh, head we carry a little bit high but he's definitely get over that now but uh, now I would like him to to focus a little bit more uh, into his racing from the beginning uh, but I think once he go over the the mile now he will appreciate that and and travel better in a race what's he like out of the gates now as well because he used to be slow in his first couple of runs he's definitely getting better he's lost two time he's jumped he's jumped pretty good so uh, going forward, everything is pretty much positive. Um, like I said, I think I think now in the in the 16, he's gonna he's gonna be very competitive. Overall, you've had a couple of rides on him in his two runs this season. What do you think of him as a horse? Like I said, uh, when I first rode him, he was just like he felt he felt like a, like a first timer, like he, he doesn't know anything yet. Um, but I think uh, you know he, he's he's got a lot to improve still. Uh, like I said, mentally especially, he, he's got a lot to. To, to do, but uh, I, I, I believe he's a, he's a really smart horse. Um, once he go, of course, uh, once he go a little bit over further, still he will, he will, he'll be, an, he'll be a nice horse to follow. He's our favourite though. Odds on at this stage as well. Pakistan friend and Karis Teton. Now one more race to take a check on before we put up the numbers. So bring it on, Master Bernini might be involved in the speed here. And Investor Boom, who was uh, 
Ben, ran last. I'm going to tip bring it on. Uh, you can steer me away from the dollar sixty for Pakistan, friend. Nice horse, got an engine, no doubt, but Karras has hit the nail on the head. He does do a lot wrong. Bring it on has loomed up in both of his starts this season. The first one was at twelve hundred behind Endearing. He loomed up to win it. Just petered out final stages, and here he ran a real gallant race. Just see him plugging away there. He's actually quite well in, off a rating of 53. Um, slow tempo barrier 9R, a couple of little negatives, but I think he's ready to win. So I'm going to tip him at a bit of a price as opposed to the shorts of Pakistan friend. Yeah, got him in on a place line as well. Bring it on. 9, I thought, might be a little bit awkward. But... Mm. All right. I think Pakistan friend's the one to beat Paul, but can I tempt you at a dollar sixty money back? No, and <laughs> I, I agree. I agree with you, though. I think he is the one to beat, and he could win by five. But I'm going to take a chance of Gorgeous again. He did run third fresh up last season over the 1,600 metres um, over on a rating of 66. He's rated 52 now. He's dropped 17 pounds, and his track work suggests he's not too far away. I might be one run too early. He might go up to 1,800 and win next time. But I, I'm going to take a chance because he's going to be about 30 to 1 and he's, what, 27 now. So he's on top to beat. Obviously, the, the one to beat is the hot favourite, but you're going to have to find a dollar sixty about a bit of a slow learner like myself to find out. Uh, Wright's just made in there for third and uh, Brett's made the case for bring it on. 7386. But I'd rather take each way about Gorgeous again than a dollar sixty about Pakistan, friend. I'd rather take a 550 about Bring It On, who is a Class 3 winner, it's worth pointing out. This is Class 4, um, so you can, um, you can give me him um, over Pakistan friend. I've got Smart Baby in. I thought he actually ran reasonably nicely in that little replay before that we saw. It was his first run for the season. He'll come on a little bit and write just mates. So a 6, 3, 10 and 8, but... Um, Bring it on, race six. There you go. He's in for me. Uh, this is the feature of the Chinese Recreation Club Challenge Cup. I think they'll do very well to beat Pakistan, Fran, but at the price, maybe each way, righteous mate. That is uh, the sixth. Uh, race number seven up next for us. Uh, just the eighth of them going round over the 1,200 metres. Up in class, though, it's a class three.